when I was thinking about talking with you, I thought, well, so I suppose I got to talk about why I'm doing theater and how I ever got here and what, <laughs> like, how did I get here, right? And then I was trying to think about, well, why I, why do I do theater? Of course, and it's a question you ask all the time. You must keep asking yourself. That's the only way you get better at it, I think. But uh, when I was young, very young, I didn't know it was right. And I certainly didn't know it was true. And every time, for some reason, in the context of my life as a child, everything seemed to be, I, I could see the contradiction. I saw it way too soon. Usually you get in your teenage years and you start to see the contradictions of your parents. And then you, ch you rebel against them and you try and become your own person. And then by the time you hit your late um, uh, teenage years where you're supposed to be maturing into an adult, you begin to accept some of the contradictions in yourself and your parents and the people around you and your friends, their contradictory behavior. You actually try to help them through the contradiction, this notion. Um, I had a very difficult time when I was bef prior to being a teenager of understanding what was true. I, I just, I, so I remember going to church um, on Easter, and I went to my mother's church, which was Roman Catholic, at 8 o'clock in the morning. It was exhausting because we get up so early and go to this church, and I went for an hour. And then I had to go to my father's church, which was Presbyterian, at 10 o'clock. So I had an hour break before I went to church, and then the Presbyterians went on for like three hours, it seemed. It seemed like endlessly forever. And so I would do five, six hours of church. And, w and uh, one of the very first epiphanies I had was, why are these two churches, which are celebrating the same thing, in contradiction? Why are they separate? How old are you? Uh, I was probably eight. By the time I hit ten, I had stopped going to church. I kind of said to my parents, I'm not going, which is a bit young. Uh, but I saw, so between six and ten, I just saw this thing that, that didn't make sense. So I never got confirmed as a Catholic. I got First Communion, and that's never went to, into confirmation, which was I just couldn't accept it anymore, uh, that it didn't make sense to me. And I s didn't have to go to church for some reason. And uh, Probably my parents were in conflict about which church I should go to, and I uh, couldn't agree because my father never went to my mother's church. My mother never went to my father's church, and uh, um, it didn't make sense to me. Well, this is the parallel. This is Easter too, right? This is Easter, right? This is why you went into theater. Richard? Well, I, but what I what I recognized is I didn't know it was true, and I think that's why I think I went. This doesn't make sense. something doesn't make sense, except the contradiction makes sense. The, well, the ho contradiction holds true. It doesn't make sense. It holds true. And, uh, and that's when I became curious about what's true. I had a very young, early experience. I was in grade one, and I was beating up this kid. And I was pushing his face into the soil, into the snow. And he was the, the, he was the, the big bruiser. And I'd, I'd, take, I'd take it on a bully, <laughs> right? I was very proud of myself, right? And I saw his two younger brothers in kindergarten, from kindergarten. We were, he's walking us, them home, and they were crying because I was beating up their big brother. And I went, maybe I was in grade two, and they were in grade one. I can't remember. But, and I remember this other woman happy that I was beating up Joey, screaming, "Get up, get up!" You know, like the, or whatever that you say when you're grade three or whatever. And I stopped. I saw. I watched myself watching them watch me. I, was, I guess it was a theatrical moment. And I stopped. I said, this is absurd to myself, my little grade two-year-old, three-year-old. This was, nothing made sense. I was winning. I was heroic. I think that's why I can't play the hero. This, because this, I watched these people and I went, well, this is horrible. <laughs> this is also stupid. Uh, I don't feel like I'm, I've done what I need to do. I beat the bully. He'll never bother me again. But I could never hit anybody again. That was a really difficult public school time. But I could never hit anybody again. Get in a school fight, or I'd always get hit. I'd always go run home and cry. I'd always, I couldn't engage in a physical violence level because I saw something that seemed uh, uh, absurd, a, a contradiction. Wow. It's and was very that strange. I know. I, I was going to say, if, if you're in grade two, is yeah. that a, like a feeling, or is that an impulse, or is that actually a thought? I think it was theater. Oh, it was thought, I think. 
I think it was theater because I saw people watching me do this. And I, I don't know if I was an actor on a stage or I was an audience member watching them uh, participate as audience members to the fight. And maybe that's the directorial <laughs> impulse. I, I want to watch the audience and the actor at the same time. You know, like that you are watching the audience. You are the audience. You're watching how the audience will feel when you're watching in rehearsal. You're watching that progression. You are trying to feel like how they feel, right? So you're. So did you yeah. ever want to do anything else but theater? I, I, you know, I really, I mean, I, it's, you know, it's dumb stuff, policemen, <laughs> but no, no. But you didn't, really, okay. Really, uh, so by the time saying. I was in public school going to high school, I was choosing a, a school that was one of the, you know, theater arts didn't happen until grade 11. Yeah. So I chose a school that had a theater arts in grade nine, or grade eight. Because that's, you saw the theater from the very beginning. I mean, what you described to me, you, you were seeing the theater in the moment. You were seeing the players in the moment, yourself one of the players. You saw the situation, you saw the story being played out, and then you questioned the story, and then you were thinking theater right from there. Yeah. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know. I just happened to have that moment. Of, I, I think the good fortune to have that moment, to have that. Uh, I mean, once I have had that experience, like just you know, maybe if I was had never seen the people, I think because I was winning. Right. I think it was because I was on top and pushing the face down, and I could look up and I was triumphant. I wasn't even really going to go anywhere. I was on top of him, you know, and had my knees right. in his arms, and he was pinned. And he was face down, and he was, you know, he was wrestled to the ground, if you like. And I looked up, and he stuck my head up and looked around, and it seemed crazy. <laughs> it just seemed, and I, just, I do remember his two twin brothers God. crying that their big brother was getting, you know. <laughs> I wasn't really getting the shit kicked out of me. I was just, you know, it, it, they were just upset their big brother had fallen from the great height that he'd been at. And then opposite him, somebody, Karen, somebody, who was screaming, kill him, kill him, or whatever, you know, because she hated him, right? And you went, oh, okay, yeah, this, is, this doesn't make any sense. 